Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Oslo Rage and our Platz. Welcome to our little corner of the internet in which we are going through the corner of the internet's platinum trophies. I'm joined today by Andy and Graham. And yeah, that's about it, really. Introduce yourself, peoples. Hi, guys, I'm Graham, aka Fat Pikachu. Wow. Can I just say that's the most vocal I've ever heard you? I know. I, I, I actually had to turn down my volume there for a second. I was like, is that Excel talking? Sorry, Rob, is that Rob it's talking? Also, it's also, whoa. It's not how I record my videos. <laughs> Man's got a vocal cord. Uh, right. <laughs> you butt dip it. Right. <laughs> no, I don't know where to be honest now. Keep going, keep going. You're doing well, you're doing well. There's no pressure. Nobody's watching. You're doing well. Come on. Nope, you're doing All well. Right, Mr. Andy. Yes, your... It's your list. This is it's what we're doing list. today. So it's we're gonna list. go from your oldest trophy your oldest platinum trophy, sorry, to your newest. Mm-hmm. Uh, and worth, what sorry, think, just to interrupt here, worth mentioning for people listening from home is you can go onto psmprofiles.com and you can w- see this list as well while you're watching. If you want to see what list we're reading from, we will put it in the description below. And for the people listening in our house and not houses and not from home, get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Make yeah. me a sandwich. <laughs> what are you doing here? Get out. Make me a cup of tea first. Yeah. yeah. Two sugars. Ten pound not on. <laughs> Two sugars. Two sugars. Wow. Sometimes three. I take... Wow. What? I take zero. Sometimes oh zero. God. I can take zero as well, but I prefer with sugar. Three sugars. No, well, two All mostly. Right. It depends. Like it, it depends how m- much sugar. This isn't what we came here to talk about, but let's talk about it. It depends how much sugar somebody puts in a spoon. If they just put like a little bit of sugar, then you obviously need more. I like quite heaped teaspoons. Oh, so you're, 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 you're like spoonful of sugar as a heat. Yes, it is, yeah. <laughs> so just a heat, heat spoon of sugar. It's the, doesn't have the same ring, does it? No. That's weird. I don't, I don't have any sugar because my mommy says I'm sweet enough already. Not all the sugar in the world could turn this bit of self sweet. Yeah. Well, That's yeah. an emo song in the making, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a really, it's like a really bad, like, um, like a 13 year old love letter or something. <laughs> Isn't it? It's like a <laughs> dear Sandra. I don't, I don't know how many thirteen-year-old people are Sandra. Such dear a Sandra, Sandra, dear Sandra, no amount of sugar in the world could turn you sweet. <laughs> no, wait, that's an insult, isn't it? Yeah, I said that like an, <laughs> said that like an insult. <laughs> anyway, yeah. anyway, Andy's twenty-four, twenty-fourth <laughs> of May, twenty thirteen. It's your first ever platinum trophy. Yeah. Talk us through it. Nice to walk in bed. What's there to talk about? I completed the game. Nice. Right, so (laughs) I'm going to skip one trophy for a second. On the 14th of December 2016 was your third platinum trophy. Tell us about that one. Uh, It's uh, What's to say? It's the walking dead. (laughs) (laughs) No, so... Um, I had no interest in trophies back. But, oh no, the, the fine sounds back. Is it gone? <laughs> there's this this is there's a rogue farting sound. So if we better start laughing, you know what it is. But no, don't, don't, please please sub and and send us money for new microphones. <laughs> it's all <laughs> so, someone's got to be making their noises. It's not, it's not me. It Somebody's making the noise. Speaking. Am I making it subconsciously? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> anyway, I had no interest in trophies back then at all. Like, none. It, it didn't bother me in the slightest. So The Walking Dead, I wanted to play it because I, I wanted to play it. And it just happened to have a platinum trophy attached to it. Um, I think there's, like, before uh, The Walking Dead, Assassin's Creed 2... On the oh my goodness! <laughs> on the what is going on with, my, with this microphone? <laughs> but I can't tell a story if it's gonna make them noises. Why is it making them noises? It's never made them noises. <laughs> just, 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 just go with it. It's fine. Uh, yeah, just keep it rolling. Just... It's a bit windy. <laughs> it's a bit windy. <laughs> Recording today from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm going to speak a little. This is going to be difficult when it's my platinum list to explain. 
<laughs> Graham, explain my what what the story I was about to tell. No, I have not. I have ninety one percent trophy completion on Assassin's Creed Two for the PlayStation Three. That's the closest I ever got to a platinum before The Walking Dead, <laughs> and I don't know why I never got it. For The Walking Dead Telltale, you pretty much complete the games. That's it. Simple. That's a Telltale game, though, isn't it? Easy. They all, are they all like that? No, uh, Back to the Future is not. No. I can tell you that much. I wasn't asking you. This just, is Andy, just, just, just put it out there. <laughs> Back to the Future is not. <laughs> no, no, and I think Minecraft Story Mode isn't like that either. Ah, right. I think you have to do a lot of things in it now. They've, they've added them later on, where you have to do one or two things. So I think in Minecraft Story Mode, you have to build a lever or something in the crafting table, but it's it's not like a dramatic... Just one thing extra. Yeah, it's like a couple yeah. of extra things you have to do. But they're Actually, annoying oh. missable trophies, so if you want to do it in one playthrough, you have to, first of all, read about it and spoil it a little bit for yourself. Yeah. Through yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got a hiccup, I'm sorry. Um, so, you got Assassin's Creed 2 on the PS4. That's your second yeah. one. It's your collection. Nice. I think probably yeah, it's strange because... Brotherhood there as well. Yeah, let's not talk about Revelations, which I should have, but I don't. Um, I think if you were looking at Assassin's Creed games before uh, before Odyssey, before Origins, Brotherhood's my favourite Assassin's Creed game. Then after is, is Odyssey, but it's a different story. Yeah, it's a good platinum. It's That's different. It's, it's, Andrew, right? it's, it's grindy, Assassin's Creed 2. Finding all the feathers yeah. isn't easy. But it only took me two weeks, and that was obviously done, what, 6th of December? No, that wasn't even a Christmas holiday. Obviously, I had nothing doing, I had nothing gone. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I got Assassin's Creed Two on my friend's account, and I think we did probably. But I don't think we ever got around to Revelations. I'm not even sure DLC, I played it. It's DLC trophies on uh, Revelations, which is the only reason I got it. I went on a bit of a um, trophy burst, though, didn't I? Look at that. From the sixth of, I, I got, I got a platinum in Walking Dead. Three years later was Assassin's Creed 2. Walking and Dead, Batman, Assassin's by the 1st of January 2017, I had four Platinums in the bank. There you go, huh? Sure uh, enough. It's not bad trophy going. Bank. It's not bad going. <laughs> I don't think you were into, into trophy collecting by nah. then either. I think I think that the end of 2016 was the um, like the start of, hey, let's uh, see who can get the most Platinums with my friend Phil. And it no. lasted, obviously, until January 2017. Then I gave up. <laughs> so, <laughs> you gave up with one. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, um, it's interesting, but he had 20 more Platinums from, than me when I got Assassin's Creed 2. And I think wow. I've got 20 more than him now. So oh, yeah. some people have stayed still. Some people have just risen to the top. That's all I will say. Respect that. Respect that. So I mean, done... come on. Th- three of my first five plats were Telltale games. Like, <laughs> this is true. So you weren't you weren't it's even not... trying to get the plat. What I find no. interesting is is you were like, no. oh, I really I really enjoyed The Walking Dead. So you know, I'm like going to I'm going to play it again. <laughs> That's... Yeah. Don't want play that. Four. But no, it was like. Um, to be fair, it is a, a pretty good games. game. It is a good game. I. It was obviously 2013. When did the first four come out? Was it about 14? Six years old? So 14, yeah. Yeah, so... PS4. That, that, I, I, have, I, have a feel, I have a feeling that The Walking Dead was a PS3 and PS4 game where you got a free upgrade for it. Oh, was or it? it must have been, uh... Or it might have been a PS Plus game or something because there's no I other reason I would have bought it. So one or something? Yeah, it was PS4. Yeah, it might have been free. So maybe maybe 2016 when... Oh, I was about to say I've got The um, Walking Dead Season 2 Platinum, but I haven't. Because he didn't have one, it's hundred percent. So, but no, it's just like a. I enjoy Assassin's Creed Two. I'm going to play everything in it. I enjoy Walking Dead. I'll play it twice. I like Batman. <laughs> I'll play that. <laughs> I like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I'll, I'll get the platinum in that. That's, that's literally my philosophy. The first, well, up until this year of trophies. And then, and then, me. and then you oh. went to a uh, really well. Oh, sorry, exactly. This- this platinum is probably one I'm the most jealous of. I've not even played the game. I've seen it played <laughs> and whatnot. Really want to play it. I just never got around to it. Nino Kuni two. Yeah. That's like two hundred hours worth. Uh, 
two months, six days. So, yeah, that's um, yeah, it's a typical J. Uh, I, can't, I can't Japanese role playing game. Uh, it's JRP, JRPG. I'm, that's yeah. wrong. You can. I know it, what I'm talking about. It is JRPG. But, yeah, it's it's just grindy. It's not difficult. It's just grindy. Then you've got so, all the dungeons to do. Yeah, all the dungeons. You have to completely yeah. rebuild your the kingdom. Uh, you have to do all the quests. You have to find. It's it's a lot easier than the first Nino Kuni game, which is like on my list of. Eventually, I will get this platinum trophy on Nino Kuni now. <laughs> <Have you laughs> because on the, uh, no, what I have on PS3, but not PS4, not the remastered. Um, it's good. I think the first one's probably better, but the second one's easier to platinum and get trophies in. But I've never, I never went back to it. I never went back and got the DLC trophies, which is why it's only seventy percent. I don't even know if I got the season pass to be completely honest. Yeah, Just, yeah grindy, grindy, not difficult. It's a good storyline, and you know that point of the game where you're like 150 hours in, and you just kind of look at yourself going, what the hell are you doing this for? Pika doesn't, because he doesn't play games right. that last longer than half <laughs> well, I would recommend people playing it, not necessarily. What's the, um? I wonder what the thing is on that. Uh, you got 23.32 on this page, but I don't know what it is on. One, it says 1.4. Yes. Oh, yeah. All very, yeah. so, yeah. Uh, my favorite Nino Kuni game is the first one, but I don't have the platinum in it. So, is that the white well, no, bridge, I, right? I, yeah. Mm-hmm. The only problem with that, yeah, I could talk. I, I mean, it's it's almost a separate discussion because <laughs> the first one had Studio Ghibli artwork in it, and it was stunningly beautiful. Yeah. And that didn't happen to Nino Kuni two, but honestly, obviously, it's been what two years, nearly three years. I don't remember a lot about Nino Kuni two, which probably says more than. You know, that kind of sums it up, really. I, I, I haven't played Nino Kuni since I streamed it, like, for, like, an hour at some point this year. But I can remember, I could tell, probably tell you the whole storyline of Nino Kuni, but not Nino Kuni 2. So that that probably tells its own story, to be completely honest. And there is a Netflix film or TV show now of Nino, Nino Kuni. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm, yeah. Just oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Probably in the route, because I haven't finished it yet. Um... <laughs> Your next three platinum trophies are Spyro. Spyro. Yeah, speaks for itself, really. Um, Spyro the Dragon. The first one is the only decent game in there. The third one, I was, I think, at this point, twenty nineteen, I went through a. I have to start completing games and getting my money's worth out of them. Yeah, makes sense. So I obviously bought the Reignited trilogy mostly for Spyro one. Um, I think. Yeah, I think Spyro the Dragon will probably remaster will probably be in my top twenty five top PS four games. But Spyro two and Spyro three, like, I could live without them. To be completely honest. Have you got the um, But I got I, I got the plats. The, I don't know what you two think or what Pika uh, Graham, Fred, whatever wants to be called in this links. Uh but I don't think they're particularly difficult platinums to get. No, really. no, they're not. They don't look it. Um no they I mean, there's a few levels which are a little bit confusing where you have to kind of backtrack a little bit. I think that's in Spyro 1. Then there's a trophy in Spyro 1 where you have to chase Nasty Nog around like a certain amount of time. Yeah, that's right. Remember- no, it's not difficult, remember- though. It's just time-consuming. And then which one is it where there's that boss which you can't... There's a boss which- which- oh, that's... where you can't do something in it. That's Spyro 2. Like, where you can't... Oh, which one is it? Okay, um, it's... um. But it's like you can't hit a sheep or something to recharge. Yeah, you're not your you're not allowed to re, you're not allowed to get, recharge or something. Yeah, get get energy basically, get health. That's right. Uh, yeah, and I, I that is probably the most difficult trophy in the three. That was a pain in the neck, I can tell you that much. Yeah, that that's a that's a difficult. Yeah, it wasn't the second one, wasn't it? Yeah, it is the second one. I can't I can't remember which boss yeah, it is. But you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to heal, which is and he's he's a. Oh, it's um yeah, it's crushes done. <clears throat> crushes done. Yeah. It's crush without without hitting any fodder. Yes, yeah. nightmare, absolute nightmare of a trophy. But apart from that, I think if you made me sit down and play a Spyro game, it would have to be the first one because I'd probably throw some kick at you if you tried to make me play Spyro that's, two or three. That's right. It's not about healing. It's you can't hit the sheep. 
Yeah, you've so, got to hit so them if you hit them, them, and it's oh. you can't see them half the time, so you don't yeah. know if you're going to hit them. That's what's yeah. annoying about it. I remember, I remember now. I remember getting quite cross at that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I, I remember getting quite cross, but not, it looks like I just played them one after another. But you can see how, um, like Spyro the Dragon took me three days. Rift of Revenge took me three weeks. Then it took me three months to get through Spyro Three. Yeah. So you can see, you can see the ones you dislike the most. <laughs> you, you can see it. Like, all right, Spyro the Dragon's like boom. I'm playing this. And getting it on the sixth of January. That was probably on the Christmas holidays as well. It's probably my Christmas game. Um, Spyro Two was it's awesome. Okay. It's, it's it's all right, but I'm still taking my time. And this Spyro Three was like, yeah, <laughs> just I'm doing it because I have to. I, I, I'm doing it to get the set. More than I'm doing it. The hat trick. Yeah, yeah. Peter hasn't done yet. Just, just go, so get the hat it. trick. It's on the list. Get the hat trick. It's on the yeah. list. But, yeah, I think I think it's interesting when you look at these sort of games because was it? I think we spoke about it in your rating platinum trophy, uh, Graham. Where it's you remember playing Spyro two more as a kid than Spyro. Yeah, 1? that's right. I did play Spyro yeah. one, but. But Spiral yeah. Two was the, was the one I played the so most. So Spiral Two and Spiral the Spiral One was the one I borrowed the most. So that's the one I like the best. And it's just interesting how one, kind of that. And neither of us I'm played Spiral Three, and neither of us no. are, to, are are very enamored with it. <laughs> so. Now, well, I think I have a feeling that we we might have grown like out of. I have a feel when did Spiral Three originally come out? Two thousand. See, so no, I would have been nine. So. I'm surprised that I never played it. Yeah, I don't. I don't so, remember it coming out. I don't remember it. I don't. I don't remember it coming. So maybe there. Were, maybe the, there was just something else that kind of captured. I Pokemon. Think eight and nine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it'd be um, Pokemon and Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy, Pokemon. Maybe. Maybe I just stopped playing. Like, what well, I can definitely remember. Uh, funny story about Spyro. Um, we borrowed it from Blockbuster. Shout out to all the '90s kids who can remember Blockbuster. Uh, <laughs> And I remember me and my sister were fighting over the disc, and we ripped the, We basically snapped the disc. Mm. <laughs> Not good. So did you, maybe did you I return mean, it like that. <laughs> yeah, I think we got away with it with um, a snap disc. No, <laughs> just kind of throw it through it. No reason and, and, and to down. But I think that's got to be taken into account with kind of games back then. It's like realistically, I don't remember actually owning a lot of games. You I remember them. Borrow- yeah. we borrowed them. We borrowed them, and fun little story. Disney got them, a lot of game companies realized a lot of people were renting games. So whenever you play kind of them, kind of uh, mid nineties to early noughties, when you play them games, you will find that they have they have quite a simple first level, and then quite a difficult se- second level, because people didn't game companies didn't want people completing the games in that rented period. They wanted people to try and get stuck on the game, then go back and um, buy it. Buy it. Yeah. Because they haven't completed it. So th- a good example for that is Disney's The Lion King. The first level, easy, but the second level is, is difficult. Is the, it, and the stampede and stuff like that is very, very difficult. Little game facts for you there, as, as I said. <laughs> little little nugget of information for everybody watching. <laughs> By Jelv, he knows what he... You know, <laughs> look, I thought Wait, his head was just a hat rack. <laughs> By Jelv, he's got it. And then, so the next one's Minecraft Story Mode, which we yeah, mentioned a little bit It's about. exactly the same. That took me three yeah. years, mostly because I couldn't be bothered to go back because the missable trophy is in the middle of Chapter 2. And back then, I only had, what, like a 500 gig PlayStation 4. So I just yeah. delete the chapters as I completed them. And I was like, I can't be bothered. So I went back to that. So then it's God of War. <clears throat> what a game. Second favorite game on PlayStation 4, I'll probably say. It's a great um, game. It's a great game, God of War. No, third favourite. Third favourite. Third favourite game. But great game. I cannot recommend it enough. I'm also playing through all the God of War games before Ragnarok comes out next year to try and get all the plats and all the God of War games. Amazing. Right. I, amazing. Amazing. I cannot recommend that game enough. Like Even if you haven't played any of the others, others play it. Because... I think got the original trilogy on PS3. Yeah. It's on PS now as well, so I but play it. Absolutely play it. Got a wall. Amazing. And Chris, Amazing. Christopher Judge is the voice of uh, Kratos, so that's that's mm. that sold it for me as well. And he does a it's great job. Story. If anybody's watched Fat Pikachu streams, especially when he's playing God of War, 
you will find out that he's got a massive man crush on Christopher Judge. Oh, I do. Me and, me and Chris <laughs> Judge, man. Me and Chris Judge. <laughs> uh, then you. If only I'd batted for the other team, I would, Judge. I would be on his tail. I'd be a stalker. Pretty much am already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with a man crush. I'll tell you that. There's nothing wrong with a man crush. It's a great game. I um, I don't want to talk about the ending because I know some people haven't got to the ending yet because okay. they're dragging Graham, their feet. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. But um, oh, like, it sets it up so well for Ragnarok. And I'm, I, for Ragnarok. I'm not even playing I was, I, I was kind of. It's one of the games that you want DLC for, and I'm surprised it hasn't been. But I'm glad there hasn't been DLC because I think the ending of the game was just right. Uh, I think the hardest bit of that is fighting the Valkyries. I think, and actually, God of War was the game that I got 50 followers on Twitch on. Nice. I did a, a 12 hour stream, which ended up a 15 hour stream. I'm pretty sure nine hours of that was trying to beat the final um, Valkyrie. Do you, do you know what and my I, 50 followers was? What's that? It was uh, Fallout 76. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. The pig of air. Like, check your thing. Check your thing. Has it gone through? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> trick it, but... trick it, trick it. <laughs> so, so your next three trophies are all relatively mm, short, yeah. looking at the times. This, was, this was a... I think this was a reinvigorated... I'm going to get as many platinums as, <laughs> as you, Phil. Um, so slides, 31 seconds. I should have turned off trophy notifications. I didn't turn off trophy notifications. My name is Mayo. 40 minutes is quite a long time. Uh, Mocky Mocky Boy, what a rubbish game. Like, don't, just it, don't put yourself it's, through it's it. It's bound to be if it's a, if it's a short plot. There are some but, decent-ish ones, but yeah, wait, most of them right, are Right, so that rubbish. one's a 24-minute plot. It's also got yeah. EU next to it, which means it stacks. Pika, yeah. get on it. Yeah. I'm on it. I've taken and... it <laughs> I couldn't tell you what slide looks like because I didn't look at the screen. I just looked at a guide on the internet to what positions, <laughs> the, what buttons to press. Yeah, I think that's what everybody order. did. It wasn't even um, like, I'm going to try and complete this. It's what's the what's the directions yeah. and press it as fast as you can. <laughs> so um, I wouldn't say I'm a... I mean, look at that. Look at the completion on them trophies. What the, These sort of games, like Slide and My Name is Mayo, I'm more concerned for the people who don't get the Platinum trophies in these games. <laughs> like, what are they doing? Like... Uh, you said right. you were going to do on my yeah. name is too, the yeah. same thing I actually thought about doing. Yeah, get to 9,999 <laughs> clicks and just leave it. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do just, it. Just to mess up that rating. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. the, the next one, uh, Platinum in four years, seven months. Oh, bloody hell, yeah. long time. Uh, my yeah. <clears throat> uh, the I did a YouTube series on the road to Platinum. Did all the trophies. But the Play for 100 Days trophy had glitched in the version of the game that I had or the update at the moment, and I didn't realize. Um, and I was so far into it that I just got very, very demoralized. And I always, and it became like a running joke because a few people like really annoyed that I hadn't just gone back and got that one trophy. And because it annoyed people, I didn't get it for a long time. <laughs> <Despite> <laughs> um, <them. laughs> but that's ridiculous, isn't it? 66 trophies and I still only got an eight, and there's like 127 trophies for Minecraft. It's been a lot of updates. Yeah, it's all, it's the, all, updates all the DLC packs and stuff, which honestly, I'm a lot really of those excited. updates are going to be easy to get. Yeah, so I'm not much of a DLC kind of 100% sign up person, but unless it's a game I enjoy, and Minecraft's one of the games I think I will, you will always go back to, to be honest. Yeah. I haven't been back to it for a while, but I have, you know. You know in three months time i'll probably be playing it every day again you know, it's just it's just the way it works isn't it yeah just the way it works so your next one is 20th of may this year this is lockdown this time really this is lockdown time stuff. first platinum on stream assassin's um, creed odyssey second favorite game possibly of all time certainly my favorite assassin's creed game cassandra is bay um <laughs> Uh, you love her yeah. that much that you farted while Just, saying her name. Yeah. <laughs> Cassandra. Is... Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's my um, it's my mating thought. I'll, 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 uh, nah, like Assassin. I think that Assassin's Creed is one of them games that people love to hate. Oh, I don't like Assassin's Creed Valhalla because it's got the name Assassin's Creed in it. Like, 
screw them people to be honest games change ubisoft changed what assassin's creed is to more match the world and honestly what a game honestly what a game um i'm gonna go back and do the dlc at some point because i just want more cassandra i want more cassandra but not the easiest platinum in the world quite grindy um we had you know quite a lot of issue trying to find all the uh i think it's all the treasures i can't remember what i was trying to find it's a little bit confusing but love it love it love it jerk and jill's next we've mentioned that in previous ones yeah uh, Levy, right, Pirates of the Caribbean. great game didn't know what to expect from it to be honest sometimes i just want to sit down and play a lego game and i thought got PS now height of lockdown and i thought wow i really want on a trophy bin jade and i bloody hell yeah 20th of may 24th of may 30th of june wow Hashtag 20, 29th of June, 6th of July, um, 15th of June, yeah, so. To be fair, you so, were you were uh, locked in the house with nothing else to do. So. Yeah, and streaming like it. But Lego Pirates of Caribbean was my evening game uh, when I was kind of watching other people. And yeah, I mean, I was pleasantly surprised, surprised by Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Very pleasant to buy. Uh, it's one of my favourite ones. It's, it's probably well, one of my favourite ones so as well. well. Uh, it only took me a week to do it, a week and two days. It's not... For a Lego game, it's not that grindy. No, it's one of the older ones. It doesn't, ones. It doesn't it feel like it on the PS3 as well. Oh, you might, you streamed it, didn't you? PS, PS Now. PS Now, PS you streamed now. it off PS Now. It didn't. It wasn't a download yeah. version. You streamed it, right, right, right. Got yeah, you. it's just a PS Now. Yeah, so it was the PlayStation 3 version of the game on um, PS Now. Yeah, but the hardest thing I think is the character unlock system in Pirates of the Caribbean. Because on most Lego games, you can go to a hub or just open up the character wheel. You have to like fight them and then fight buy them, yeah. and then you have to find them and stuff. That that and that's generally what's up there the longest. Um, but not very enjoyable. I think it's one or two of the levels are probably a little bit too long. But <clears throat> nah, can't go yeah. wrong. I think I think it would have been a. I think I would have rated it much higher, even though I love it, if uh, it didn't have the fourth movie in it. Because I think the fourth movie is a bit rubbish. So. Is that the one where his son is older? No, that's the latest one. It's the one with um, Blackbeard. Right, Pop right. On. Got you, got you. Mm-hmm. The mermaid, weird mermaid, human. Oh romance. yeah, that was that was a strange that one. Was... I forgot that one even existed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I don't exactly. think I've seen any so, after three. Exactly. Uh, Fallout Four. I'm jealous of this one. Great game. It's like the only one you're missing. Yeah, it's the only fault. Oh, well, it. no, New Vegas as well, but Fallout Four it. is. And I watched you stream it, and it looks such yeah. a good game. I'm surprised I haven't gone and played it. Uh, I played it when it first came out, and before it, I played Fallout 3. Couldn't get on board with Fallout 4. I was like, it's not as good. It's not as good. It's not as good. It's not as good. I miss Fox. I miss Fallout 3. Um, came back to it a few years later. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Still not as good as Fallout 3, but I, I really enjoyed it. I think The for... hardest bit to get the plot. Sorry. No, on you go, on you go. I think the hardest bit of the plot is remembering where to save. Like I, I left myself, left myself like fourteen different notes of where to save um, <laughs> to to get the plot. But no, I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. Just I think loved I, it. I was the same because I've played Fallout Four and I couldn't get into it. And do you know what I think it was for me? It wasn't wasn't the graphics because the graphics are quite nice compared to like Fallout Three and that. But mm-hmm. it's it's the changes they made to like the power armor and. You yeah. needed cores and stuff, and they just made quite a lot of changes. Added quite a lot in, like base building, weapon creation, and I just yeah. don't think I was into that at the time. I don't mind it now, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, yeah that, I think that's what put me off Fallout Four. Yeah, no, I, I would recommend it. I think, like realistically, Fallout Three, unless Fallout Five is like this amazing bombshell of a game, Fallout Three will always be the best Fallout game for me and for a lot of people. Um, but yeah. Fallout 4 pleasantly surprised pleasantly better, surprised it's better than the next Fallout on your list yeah it, it, <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed it um, so your next three Platinums are all Ratchet and Clank oh so my Ratchet this is this must have been about when they um, announced Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus uh-huh. uh, I love Ratchet and Clank I think it's one of my favourite gaming series of all times I think you hadn't you played wanna... it before this point, though, had you? Yeah. Had you? I thought you. I thought this was the first time you played it. Oh no, no, no! I, I played the games before on my old account. Right, right, got you. Well, I never. I bought. I think 
if you want, for me, when you say PlayStation, I instantly think of Ratchet and Clank. I think they're not difficult games. It, I think what puts people off Ratchet and Clank is, oh, you have to play it through twice to get the Platinum Trophy. Oh, no. Doesn't make any difference because they're short games. Um, great game. Like, if you just want a game where you don't have to think too hard and it's not overly challenging, but it's just that right amount of challenge that just puts it in. Great storyline, great characters, ridiculous weapons. Ratchet and Clank, all the way. I think out of the ones I got there, the Ratchet and Clank PS4, Cracking Time, Into the Nexus, there are other games. The three, the first three PS3 Ratchet and Clanks, annoyingly are on PS now. Uh, they are platinum trophies. But then there's a quest for booty, which doesn't have a platinum. And then there's one of them that has online trophies, so I didn't play that and try and get too I've many trophies in that. All for um, one trophies? Yeah, I think that's the one with online stuff. Yeah. I a think. lot of Latch, Ratchet and Clank games. I didn't realize how many there were. Oh, yeah, it's Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, and 3. Then there's Into the Nexus, Cracking Time, Quest of Booty, uh, All for One, Q-Force. Something like that, yeah. And then there's the PS4 one. I think it's 10. And then it's going to be into the, the new one coming out. The new one on PS5, which is going to be amazing. I think out of the three that are there, I think... Ooh, I, t- I mean... Bloody hell, it took me six days and 18 hours to get Ratchet and Clank cracking time. And that probably might, tells me that's my favourite. I might get Ratchet and Clank. Even though it took you four years and two months. Oh, <laughs> that, that, my, that's, that's one of yes, those things cream. of... No, the reason for that is that I tried to stream Ratchet and Clank, but because I was doing it direct from the PlayStation, it had that block scene crap right. that oh, they seem to yeah. do early yeah, PS4. Course. You can't watch this. It's a block scene. And it's like, well, I'm going to enjoy this cutscene people watching my stream. You enjoy this blue screen. I might download it and play it. Um, I, it's the on, great, it's on so PS I now, that. I think, now. Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. yeah. So I, 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 hope, I really want them to put the first three Ratchet and Clank games on PS now, and I don't know why they're not. Sony, I know you're listening. <laughs> Hook a guy out. Maybe Hook they were made up. by a different company, perhaps? They can't get the rights or something like that? Maybe. I'll Google it. Carry on. Because I think I think the Ratchet and Clank game you've got there is a remake of the first one, from what I've heard. The first uh, Ratchet and Clank PS4. The no. one, yeah, the one that's PS4. One you took you four years, uh, two months to complete. I think that's a remake of the kind original. Of. Kind of, but it's also based on the film that came out. Ah, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Still yet to watch that. Um. So your next three, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I was really surprised at these because I was one of these people that said the wrong order. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot 2 is my favourite, so that's why I got that, but I've always always been one of these people that I played it through, I was like, sod this, I'm not doing the bloody time trials for trophies, no (laughs) way, time trials are easy, like, you only have to get gold on them, let's not talk about Crash 4, where you have to get platinum, (laughs) arseholes. That's uh, his next platinum, by the way, people, Crash Um, Bandicoot. It's not, it's really not, but Crash 2 is my favourite. Crash Bandicoot and Crash Warped, and that was another thing where it's like, oh wow, I got Crash Bandicoot 2 Platinum. You know what? Let's get the others. <laughs> and you see that I've 100 percent in Crash 2 and Warped, but I haven't done the DLC of Crash Bandicoot, yeah, so that's why that's not 100 percent And that's that slippery hill thing. I love Crash Bandicoot. I think Crash Bandicoot, Assassin's Creed, Ratchet and Clank, can't go wrong with them. Chuck in some Elder Scrolls Fallout, Kingdom Hearts. You guys have a game console. Your next one is going along the old platformer style, uh, Medieval. Mm-hmm. What a game. What a game. Never, pl- I, I yeah. never played it as a kid. Never played it as a kid. And I wish I had. What a game. What a <laughs> game. I mean, three days, three days, three hours speaks for itself, doesn't it? All that was all streamed as well, wasn't all, it? All, all on the stream. All on the stream. What a game. Um, come, if you want to talk about and it might be a subject in the future. Underrated games. Medieval is probably the top of my list, honestly. I loved it. What game. what a game. And what's cool is do you not remember if we had our dopamine hit at the end? When you come when you hundred percent the game, you unlock the PS one version of it with the old booting up system. <laughs> and, and, and so that and yeah, and then like for the last half hour of the the final day stream. Was just reloading that bit to listen to the PS One booting up. <laughs> <laughs> what would have, been, what like... would have been really cool is if that had its own independent plat and they'd put that as a plat yeah. on its own. So I know there was a Medieval oh, Two made. I'd love them to remaster that. 
You know, people always talk about Crash Bandicoot and stuff like that being remade. Nobody talks Why, about Croc. Nobody talks about Croc. That's another subject. But uh, Medieval, I think it's on PS now. Play it. If you play it, just play it. Like, honestly, Do I love. I loved it. Do it. I loved it. I loved it. If if you if you want if. Like, I fully appreciate why people might want to take my not not want to take my advice. I mean, but I I can't recommend it enough. Honestly, out of it, my surprise. Well, one of my surprise games of twenty twenty, medieval. Next I didn't think I'd really enjoy it. Don't want to talk uh, about Fallout seventy six. <laughs> so after that is another old school. Yeah, Sly Cooper. Probably my surprise game of twenty twenty. Which is sounding weird because whenever it came out the first time, um, I got this took me apparently two months and two weeks. It didn't. I tried this before I played something else, but the game gives you a trophy for just turning it on. Because <laughs> I think Graham, you said you should try Sly Cooper if you like platformers. Like, oh yeah, yeah whatever, whatever. There's whatever. like there's multiple. And I booted it up and it, yeah, and it gave yeah. me a trophy, <laughs> and, and I'm gonna go back. And honestly, went back to it. Start playing it again. Great game. The hardest thing on it was on PS4 is there's a boss where you have to use um, like button commands, and PS now doesn't Yeah, it, it, PS now doesn't like to respond. There's a delay. Then, yeah. right? hmm. There's there's a delay. So it's like in God of War, the first one, it kind of finds itself a spam in the button, and, <laughs> and then you miss the next one. And so especially that was a little frustrating. Especially over Wi-Fi, there's a delay. There's not much yeah, when you've got so, a cable, but there's, or in fact, nah. well, it's virtually gone when you've got a cable. Because I've tried it, yeah. but there's definitely so a delay I'm, in the Wi-Fi. I've got terrible internet. I reckon I can still get lag. But <laughs> if if it's, I always think like, you know, what's what I've really what's really opened my eyes this year is that you don't have to play the AAA titles to have a good gaming experience anymore if that makes sense no, and i think there's, there's a lot yeah. of under there's, there's a lot of underrated games out there sly cooper medieval even the next one coffin dodges like that's such a, nice you know it's uh well it's almost it's actually uh the mobility scoot away um but that like, coffin <laughs> dodges all right it's a bit of a it, it's it's one of them games that you look at and go what the hell is that i really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it. You got Coffee both dodges. these platinums on my birthday. Tempted. Sorry? The both Coffin oh, Dodger oh, and, oh, and Sly, you got them on my birthday. <laughs> my goodness, look at that. I got I got I got the pla- I got Fallout 76 on the 29th of September, Sly Cooper on the 30th, and Coffin Dodgers on the 30th. Then Lego Marvel Heroes Super Heroes 2 on the 1st of October. It's four four I got, I, in four days. I, I got four, four platinums three days. in four days. Mm-hmm. And it took me to, it took me three years to get my first four. Yeah, <laughs> insane. Now, nah, Coffin Dodge is great fun. I think it was a PS Plus game from the top of my head. I don't know why I'd buy it otherwise. Play it. Well, you get to charge around, whacking other races with your walking stick. It's road in rash, but with old people in mobility scooters. <laughs> yeah, mobility scooters, whacking and throwing oil out, oil slips. You get to upgrade your scooter and stuff. And yeah, I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> I'd recommend it to people. I really would. I really recommend it. Oh my god! Uh, here comes the here comes the Lego saga. I was, I was, I was just about to say saying, your next <laughs> three platinum trophies are all Lego games. Yeah, Lego Marvel Heroes Two, amazing. Yep, and Jurassic World. Um, Jurassic World, <laughs> amazing. Lego Harry Potter <laughs> Years One to Four, sucks. Snooze fest, and this was very much because I think what October that was when I tried to. That's when I decided I was going to try and get my overall trophy completion upwards. So I forced myself by Huckleback Brook to finish the like, Harry Potter collection years one or four. What a drag of a game. I would like, have left my um collection like, down on that. Like I'd force myself in fairness I started playing years five to seven. Um literally today. I, I quite I'm quite enjoying it actually. It's it's actually pretty good but oh my Goodness me, Don! Um, if there's trophy hunters there, people looking for more than one platinum, saying, "Oh, I can do it on PS4 and PS3." Don't play PS3 Lego Harry Potter Collection Years One and Four. It's glitchy as hell. Um, you won't get the platinum because it, you have to read unless you have really good save backs. But oh, just don't bother. Like, save yourself the hassle. What a grind! 
like by the end of it, I think the last trophy you get is on is unlocking Voldemort and killing Harry with Voldemort in the graveyard at the end of mm-hmm. film four. And yeah. oh man, it gets, oh man, can we talk about four less seventy six instead of Harry Potter Lego? <laughs> no, like, that no. says a lot. But oh man, we can talk about your next platinum, and mm. yeah, we can roll out into your one before the last one. Yeah, so um, Marvel Spider Marvel Spider Man. Um, the only reason that says two weeks and one month, yeah, that's because I went back and did all the DLC. Two years um, and one month. So I, I the DLC wasn't out. I waited for all the DLC to come out and then got distracted by thousands of other games. This is my favorite game of all time. <laughs> like I felt like if there's any video that we get to talk about our favorites, I'm always talking about Spider Man. No more what it is. It's always Spider Man. Um, Spider Man is my favorite superhero, my favorite character, and Marvel Spider Man is my favorite game. I, I don't know what else to say. I could play it like I would quite happily now play it again without any trophies. I'm I'm so actually like genuinely gutted that Marvel Spider Man doesn't PS Five doesn't have a separate trophy list. The remaster does. What? Yeah, but you'd have, you'd have to buy it separately, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. You'd have I'd to buy, buy it. I'll buy, it. I'll, buy I'll, I'll, I'll buy Spider Man. I'll buy it. I'll buy it separately. Oh, okay. Bloody that's good news. That's perfect for me a little bit. Now, my favorite game of all time. And um, when I first said it, I was like, "Oh, that's a statement." Uh, it's hundred percent true. Yeah. Honestly, it's hundred percent true. My favorite game of all time. Well, this is on the internet now, so that makes it true. Yeah. <laughs> and then it never lies. <laughs> no, true. It's it's true. It's right, said, it's, I'm, I'm not going to allow you to talk about Spider Man forever. Okay. You, you've good got call. videos people can watch if you want to put an yeah, annotation up. Um, yeah, good call. Good call. So good call. Your next one says it's game. No, it's not. It's Overcooked Two. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we pretty much got that together. Yep. Um, so, so they're all a little bit of all, they're all a little bit out of order because I've gone back and done some DLC on stuff. I was going to yeah. say I thought uh, you got Spider Man ages ago, and then it's already yeah. there. Yeah, I, I I got Spider Man back in 2018, so um, Almost it would have been it would have been around it came out rough September probably, 2018. So it probably would have been it probably would in probably would would have been between it would have been the, between the you know, Clooney two and Spire of the dragon um but no i've got two is great i love it i think it's great fun and, uh yeah. game of thrones it's good actually i start. I, I realized that well, this is back to my what games have i what games have i got on my trophy list that i haven't completed that are easy to complete list um so five years eight months might sound like a lot of time but i'd only done the first chapter and then right. obviously run out of money or something that's nah, good Actually, it's one of it's one of the better it's one of the better storylines of, of a Telltale game. Honestly, um, I'd probably say that Guardians of the Galaxy, which I haven't got yet, and ooh, yeah, probably Guard, Guardians of the Galaxy, Game of Thrones, and Batman are probably my top three Telltale games. So, comes recommended. Why uh, is Skyrim all the way at the top? I was just about to ask Chris. Did you not stream it uh, recently? Um, DLC trophies. I completed the bit, Dragon Ball thing. Skyrim speaks for itself. It's not as good as Oblivion, but Oblivion didn't get trophies, so. So this says it, one year, seven months. Clearly, as a PS4 version that you've not played previously and not the PS3 version. Well, this is the PS4 version, yeah. Um, this I have a feeling. It's nearly nine years after, or well, over nine years after it released. I got the Platinum Trophy on the 1st of June 2018, and my first trophy was in 2016, so it did take me two years to get. Um, I don't know why. But again, I feel like I got the Platinum Trophy live on stream for Skyrim. Oh, it wasn't around then. Possibly. I'm Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Spider-Man. Sorry, Marvel's Spider-Man. Miles Morales. Yeah, great game. Love it. Week, loved it. Yeah, loved it. Um, <clears throat> this this unfortunately came out at the same time as Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, which kind of, for some reason, dominated most of my time. Um, but... No, great game, great sequel, love it, love it. My, it's not my, it's, it's probably top five, top five PS4 games, I would probably say. But yeah, I'd recommend it. And uh, it's what I, I think, like Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. They, they, they're not actually that difficult platinum trophies. Like you just have to do everything. You just have to play the game to its fullest, and so you like, pretty much get it. Like playing a Lego game, really, Ben. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you don't have to like go out of you. Well, there's a couple of trophies, like there's a couple of things like to go. Um, oh, this is another game that Pete hasn't played, so I'm not going to talk about it. 
But um, there's a couple of trophies where I had to go to like certain locations, which means stuff in the first game um, and stuff like that. But apart from that, it's, it's no, easy I... enough. Great story. I think um, I'm going. I was about to start a massive conversation about why Spider-Man is the best game ever. Then carry on. They can do that on your YouTube channel, can't they? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the good. It's just yeah. Um... Uh, Finally, the last mm. platinum on your list. Oh, I'm so is ashamed of One this. that we've been given a lot of stick about. Yeah. Oh, oh, pretty I, pretty I, sure you gave I, us a lot of stick about this one. <laughs> oh, I cracked, man. I cracked. Okay. My name is it, Mail it, Two. It, it'd been like <laughs> two weeks since I got a platinum trophy, and it was just sat there taunting me. I was like, oh, I want to get to forty before the end of the year. I want to get to forty before the end of the year. I cracked. All right. I cracked. I'm not proud of what I did. You'll get no judgment from me. It happens to the I best fe- of us. I can feel the judgment in your voice. <laughs> My name is Mayo too. Does that also count towards your 30 before you're 30? No, because I didn't record it or stream it. Oh, you've got to stream it. Ouch. Yeah. Or oh, it has <laughs> to be on the internet somewhere. You could have, uh, you could have, you could have done I, that on I, a stream as well I quite could. easily. Yeah. Yeah, I could have done. What, could have um, done it five times in a stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I still have sixteen games to complete for that. But no, I cracked. I'm only human. I'm only human. You're solar human. I'm only human. So that is your entire platinum list. Yeah, thirty-eight platinum trophies. Ouch. Yeah, very, very close to another few. So. All if right. we do this again in a year's time, that'll probably be over 50, hopefully. Oh, anyway. probably at 31. No, it'll be well over 50 in a year. When my name is yeah. Mayo 3 comes out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you've got one and two, you've got to do three as well. It's obvious. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm in the series now, aren't I? So. Isn't there a yeah. Jack and Jill 2 to do? Uh, is there, I'm not that, I'm not that one. No, we better no, get no, on that. We better get now. on that mate, now, man. You can't not do number two. <laughs> Stop it! You terrible influences. I don't want to ruin my trophy scores. Don't blame me. It's Pika. M- Mocky Mocky I mean, Boy Two. Who, Mocky Mocky Boy Three. Got me into it. I'm pretty sure I've got the highest PSN level of all three of us. You, you do. Have indeed. You have oh, about have five thousand trophies though. I only have like a, not even two thousand yet. He's got three thousand one hundred. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He's got four thousand and ninety eight. Yeah, you've got three four four. I am yeah. three three. four. I think Pika's above me because of his platathon. My platathon that yeah. put, put me above Plot-a-thon. the edge. Yeah. Platathon. Platathon. Said really so that really weird. Said it, said it full on Scottish. I went Plot-a-thon. Scottish. So I've got uh, the we'll least amount of platinums. <laughs> I've got the l- lowest level. But one thing I have found out I have over you guys is yeah. you have one ultra rare. Pika has zero ultra rares. Which is, which is wrong. I have Yeah. Yeah. Because right. so, the ultra rare you have, <laughs> Andy, is the same ultra rare I should have, but it doesn't register me oh, as yeah. having fall, it. Fall, 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 fall out 76. No, no, the pet hoarder trophy in Terraria. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's I remember the question. All yeah. right, rate me. Rate, rate, oh, wait, well, rate so, the plats, actually. Yeah. Don't bother rating me. S-A-S-S. Almost spelling out assassins. Uh, you've got a seat, right? So you've got a few easier platinums. Yeah, well, if you, if if, if we're doing it subjectively, you probably say so Walking Dead, platinum. Walking Dead, Batman. That's three easy. Slide. My name is Mayo. Mocky, Mocky, Jack and Jill. Um, and my name is Mayo too. Game of Thrones, because in fairness, Game of Thrones, you do just have to complete the game. So that that book counts. So, yeah, so even out of, out of thirty-eight, before, yeah. Out of 38, I'd probably say there's nine easier trophies, platinum right. trophies in that. Yeah, that's well, roughly a quarter, just under, just under a quarter. Certainly, three of yeah. the harder ones, I would say, would have been Fallout 4, Minecraft, yeah. well, I'd say 4, Minecraft as well, God of War, and of course, uh, Nino Kunai. Nino Kunai. Yeah, so there, there's, some, there's, there's some respectable platinums right uh, there. So let's give me a 10 and get it all with. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got to let Exile go first. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to say a solid nine. I won't give you a ten. Because that's a bit much. Yeah, we need room for improvement. 
I've got 7.5, and you are leaps and bounds over me, especially without Nino Cooney, your Fallout 4, and some long butted phantoms. Yeah, solid nine. Easy. Oh, oh good luck. Oh, respect, a very respectable score from Exile there. <laughs> yeah, I'm very judgmental. I'm I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Eh? Not 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 because I think you're. <laughs> I'm giving your you list a one. And, bad. I'm giving you a one. <laughs> um, it makes ten. <laughs> just just because I think that there are some very respectable platinums in there. There are other ones that are on easy lists, even though they're not that easy. But they're they're still good platinums. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, I For would example. say you. Uh, well, Spider Man's maybe one of the easiest platinums, or one of the one of the easiest platinums you can get, supposedly. Shut the front no, it door. Is, Shut it is, the it front is. door. Genuinely, it's on. It's on like multiple lists of being a easy platinum. I don't know why. To be but, fair, Pika would know about easy platinum. Yeah, I've, I've watched a lot of lists. <laughs> I'm not but judging. Hey, I'm just ma- saying. It's a matter of opinion. It's it is absolutely, opinion. It's absolutely. And yours is wrong. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> it wasn't my end saying what it, it's on the list. Um. I would say you're an eight, eight point five. I'll take that. I'll take that. You've taken the way away. I'll tell you, I will. I'll take it. A lot of <laughs> later. Pika, I literally paid you twenty pounds to give me a ten, and you forgot about that. <laughs> it's spent. I, I spent it. I spent it on twenty easy platinums. <laughs> that was just that fun. Yeah. Twenty copies Ow. of My Name Is Mail too. There you go. <laughs> oh, and you still get change. And you still get changed, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I bought 40 games, got changed. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, I guess that's the end of that. Yeah, guys. So, if anybody agrees, disagrees, wants to talk about their platinum lists or anything else along those lines, please leave a comment in the well, comment section, obviously. Uh, yeah. Please leave us a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. I've been Rob, and these two have been these two. See you later. Bye, Bye. Bye guys. See you later. Bye.